Alright, today I will be showing the best weapons in Dave the Diver. Alright, the first weapon we have is a steel net gun. This is the fully upgraded version of the net gun, and can capture some unique fish. For example, this fish down here that you normally have to drop rocks on. Okay. Well, these things are a bit annoying to actually capture. I find it helps to attack them from the left side. That really works out. Um, if you're attacking them from the right side, a bunch of the times the bolts just go straight through. They're a bit of a bad example, because if I was firing at a crab, it would hit 100% of the time. But regardless, the steel nut gun is great, as it can lock up quite a lot of creatures, even small aggressive ones. It won't be able to do sharks, but you can do a lot of other stuff with it. For example, this crab. Let's see if this cookie cutter shark can be netted. Yes. It's not going to be able to net all the enemies, but it will net a good lot of them. Did I just open that and get no oxygen? steel net gun can also catch larger animals such as the frilled shark, but not really big sharks. So we can catch some sharks, but not others. This net gun is also capable of capturing groups of fish. As such. Said, when you have the steel net gun, you definitely want to avoid that shark that just appeared there. That's a short, thin Mako, and it will shred you up. The net gun can get multiple tuners in one net, though. It also does stingrays. Not a bad gun. In fact, one of the best, I'd say. Next up is the time of a modified Hushdar. Now, this is only really useful when you get to the fullest of upgrades, but when you do, it's great. Now, we'll take that. good news about this is you can go and wrap your double hit the shark and it will guarantee you to fall asleep. At that point you can drone it out of there no problem. You can also knock out smaller fish pretty much instantly. So it takes a whole die. It's all single target. So unlike the net gun which catches groups of small fish but can't catch large fish this can definitely catch large fish, no hassle, but at the same time, you haven't really got much of a way of dealing with the smaller stuff. So you will have to utilize ammo pickups quite a bit more. But that should be alright. As long as the two darts connect, it's going to knock out any shark. You can do fish like that in one hit. It's only rarely the sharks that require two darts. I'm 
I'm not going to bother with that shark because that's not one I want to capture. Or at least demonstrate the capture of. I'm not really too bothered by that. I'll demonstrate the capture of this guy. There's also a bug glitch, or a bug that you can do with this with the poor beagle shark. Where if you get the poor beagle shark um, hit with two darts and it's doing its charge attack at you, it'll do its charge attack. Uh, but then you go in for the knifing it, at which point it does like a 360 rotation and falls asleep. It's really weird. I'll have to try capturing it on camera someday. As you can see, this hushed art really does work out on pretty much everything. Next up, the death rifle. I'm going to go to a higher HP area to show this one off. As you can see, it has 13 rounds in the magazine or total ammo capacity, so it's absolutely insane. Okay, it's now I want some. Boom. You saw that? Instant death. What kind of death was that? Instant. And yeah, then you can send it up, harvest it, whatever you want to do. That's only a 30% chance of instant death. The That's pretty high when you have 13 bullets. Where's the next victim? There it is. As you can see, this gun is really powerful. I should be wasting all those ammo pickups, I should be saving them. But be real, there's not much threatening around here that's gonna take all my ammo. See, it only does 80 damage if it doesn't get the instant death chance. As you can see, 5 bullets there of 80 damage really um, just took down this Greenland shark. So even if it just has high health and you can't get the instant death chance, um, it's still going to shred through them anyway. Alright, this thing's kind of annoying, but... There we go. Just like that. He's dead. That's really all there is to the death rifle. Just blasting stuff straight up. I haven't showed off all of those. The next one is actually an interesting one. So some people like the tranquilizer rifle because of its magazine size of 8. But I personally go for the tranquilizer gas bomb launcher because it does less damage. Now the way that this works is early game you will not have access to the modified hush darts so therefore you won't be able to knock out sharks. How are these tranquilizer weapons get around that although they're only a 40% chance to knock out fish? or sharks, or whatever, right?
I can see it's not a guarantee. on um, these things quite well. Okay, maybe it doesn't. What it does is just dive knifing them. I think the stingrays might be immune to the grenade launch for some reason. Yeah, I doubt I'm on that unlucky and I think they are just immune. I will come back with another full round though. So there's one downside of the grenade launch, the stingrays seem to be immune to them. I say that because in my other video I did a gravity grenade launch, no not the gravity, the black hole grenade launcher, they had no effect, like they literally just swam past the black hole, so to me that's a bit suspicious. Yep, as you can see, stingrays are immune to grenade launches. Or at least some marble electric rays. However, I want as much marble electric ray meat as possible right now, so I'm joining it anyway. But now we got proof that this weapon isn't just like a fluke and a really bad. I mean, it knocked out the pressure shark, but that was in three hits. So I'm gonna dive down, find more ammo. See what's what. you will have really bad luck, I guess. If you had that with a regular rifle, you'd probably end up killing some of the fish. But sometimes you'll have really good luck. Find more ammo and knock out that guy, even though I can't send him up to the surface. This is why this gun's not as good as the modified touch gun, but it's a good other uh, game alternative. Because the hush star always does no damage and always knocks out the target, whereas this just does no damage and knocks out the target part of the time, or does low damage and knocks out the target. It's kind of like definitely. In theory, yeah, but it's worth adding to the list of good weapons just because a tranquilizing weapon earlier on in the game can do quite a bit. Oh, I missed. Yeah, as you can see, knocked out Tiger Shark as well. Oh, whatever. I 
is it for the video. Hope you have a good day.